We are talking continental football and in particular Mamelodi Sundowns who have been very busy on the domestic front taking care of business here. But right now they are uh, on an African safari if you like and uh, they are currently in Egypt, in Cairo to be specific for the big clash with al Ahli this coming Saturday. And I'm joined by their coach, uh, Mangoba Mwiti, joining us live from Cairo. Uh, coach, good morning and thank you so much uh, for your time this morning on the AM Report. And I know you've been doing a lot of traveling. I said you have been very busy this season. And going into such a game, how do you uh, rate or gauge your players' physical state right now, having done so much traveling, having played so many matches uh, this past season or this current season? Good evening, Benji, and uh, thanks for having me. Uh, this is one encounter that I think we are a little bit in a fortunate space, considering the last time we played our last match and uh, the time that we have had in between to, to try and refresh the team. And uh, coming into this match uh, against a team that played on Monday, uh, we, we believe we are physically at a better space. We, we are more rested this time around, unlike most other matches. So we believe we are in a, in a very good position to compete in, in this coming match. Mm. And coach, we all know that al -Akhli is by far the most successful club on the continent. So going into the clash, your players, it's important to have uh, uh, optimum physical fitness. But mental fitness will also play a huge role going into that particular match. It's possibly the biggest clash, the, the biggest match they can play on the continent. Yeah, of course, it's, a, it's no doubt one of the biggest matches. We are playing against one of the oldest clubs in Africa and uh, the biggest club in, in Africa, the club of the century. So everybody is fully aware. But the other good thing here is that we've been meeting them uh, consecutively. Now it will be for the third time in the same competition. And we were eliminated by them last year, uh, who went on to go and win it. Uh, a year before that, we eliminated them. So it becomes a very interesting clash that we also want uh, an opportunity to go past them so that we can book our place in the semifinals. And we know it's not going to be easy. We are not playing against a weak team. We are playing against a team that has got a lot of pride in that red jersey. But uh, I'm also as equally confident of the team that we have and the preparations that we have had thus far. Mm. Uh, what, what happened when you landed in, in Cairo, coach? Sundowns is surely now used to the hostilities of playing uh, around the, the African continent. Do you still receive such treatment, uh, making you aware and feel that you are uh, a long way from home? The good thing about Egypt is that now it has become our second home. You know, if you are not liked by the Ali supporters, then your Zamalek supporters are with you. So we, we've, we've formed part of this huge family. And uh, to be honest, I would be lying if I say they've been hostile to us. I think they've treated us very well. The facility that we have is also in a very good condition. Uh, the hotel that uh, we found is also a very good hotel. So the atmosphere is... It's very positive. Everybody is looking forward to this match, and we 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 would not have any excuse to to say this is the reason why we could not perform. So we are we are looking forward to a clash that we will try to do our best uh, not to lose. Coach, surely you knew that uh, we would address the elephant in the room, uh, if I can call it that, and we. <coughs> are going to talk about Pizzo Musimani, the Pizzo Musimani factor, and at the risk of taking the game and making it about the sentiments that you have between uh, you and the coach. Have you actually had any communication between, uh, with, with Pizzo Musimani since the draw was conducted? No, I have not communicated. I'll be lying. Okay. And he did mention, uh, coach, that he created some sort of a beast in Mamilodi Sundowns, uh, 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 Pizzo Musimani, and it might come back to bite him uh, in this particular clash. Do you feel a 
as if you are somewhat, um, how can I put it, favorites uh, going into the clash against al Akhli because of the pressure that Peter Musimani is also facing at al Akhli. To, to be honest with you, it will be very stupid of us to think we are the favorites in this match. We are playing against the champions. We are playing against a team that has got so much pride in that red jersey. And we are playing against a coach who would never want to lose against Sundowns. So that makes the game or the contest to, to be even more interesting. And we are fully aware of uh, all the, the tricks that can be there to make us to feel we are in a superior state at this stage. In the Champions League, Al Ali is a bigger, is a bigger team than us. But in our country, we, we are a big uh, team. And in the continent, we also believe we are a very big team. So in as much as we are coming here with a lot of respect and humility, but we, we are coming in here as a team that is also ready to compete against any opposition in the continent because we are in it to, to try to win it. We are not in it to add numbers. So we are fully aware uh, of all the psychological space that the game like this finds itself in, but we are also fully aware of what is expected of us to deliver as Sundowns, and that is why we've made our preparations a priority to make sure that we are in a very good space to compete, and we also, again, have to thank the, the, the PSL for making sure that they postpone the matches and give us a chance, probably for the first time in history where we are going to play the quarterfinals of this Champions League without any matches in between. And for me, that is very positive because it's a sign that we are fully supported to try and go all the way into conquering Africa, obviously starting with this giant step of trying to make sure that we secure a place in the semi-final at the expense of Al Ali or at the expense of Pizzo, whom we respect as a coach, as a brother, as a colleague, and also our countrymen. But uh, when it comes to a battlefield, you'll never really be looking at, at who you are competing against. You just have... He would know the, the technical ability of the players. He does a lot of extensive work on the analysis of the opposition. But uh, structurally, there's been a lot of changes in, in how we approach matches. And... Uh, the statistics and the benchmarks that we have created are also suggestive that the team is slightly different from what it was two seasons before. Uh, it may have almost the same personnel. I'll give you an example of a Lebu Hang, for instance. Lebu has been playing as a striker for Coach Pizzo, has been playing as a fullback for Coach Pizzo, but for us he's playing as an eight. So he knows the player, but uh, as an eight he has not, he has not seen him playing uh, for himself, maybe as he saw him playing for Marisbeck. So those are the dynamics that we have tried to trick a little bit uh, to make sure that the game, the game that the players play favors what we believe is their strengths, and that is why Lebo has bloomed into one of the most important midfielders into the team. So there are a lot of changes structurally, and even in the type of play that we have, I think we... We, we are having more pass, passes in the game. We are having more uh, possession in most of the games that we play. I think this season probably we are sitting on more than 90, 98% dominance. Uh, there is only one match that I remember, which was Cape Town City, which we won 3 nil, which we did not dominate, and intentionally so, because we wanted to kill the space behind. But generally, we have dominated almost every match that we have played this season. Coach, how is uh, Temba Zwani's fitness coming into this uh, game? There's been a lot said about him and the fact that he might miss this all-important uh, fixture. Yeah, it's still, uh, still not very clear. Very close, but uh, not 100% ready to, to say he's going to play or he's not going to play. But it's very close. Uh, we thought by now we would be in a very clear space or state of mind to say he's going to play or he's not going to play. But as it is, he was part of the training session yesterday. Uh, we still have to assess him very closely. The session yesterday was more an activation session. 
so the intensity was not at the highest level so probably today we'll be able to come up with something that will indicate to us whether he is ready to to play for this match or not but uh, in in earnest we we are having him close and we are not confident that he is going to play to be honest all right, Coach Mangoba Mgriti, thank you so much for your time this morning. I have to let you go. Joining us live from uh, Cairo ahead of that all-important fixture with al Ahli uh, in the CAF Champions League. In fact, it's the quarterfinals that they will be uh, playing al Ahli against. They're facing Peter Musimani, a man with five league titles with Mamelodi Sundowns, two Telkom Knockout trophies, two Netbank Cup trophies, one CAF Champions League and Super League today. He's the man plotting their downfall.